Hey there mates and welcome to another video. Do you remember the witchcraft deck we talked about earlier? Well, together with someone from a Discord server which is called Shadow Deck, I updated, we updated this deck with his help. He got me a, lo a lot of new insights into the game as well. Um, you can already see I got the tricky right now. Uh, it's a special summoning card by discarding another one. So if I just use that one and discard a witchcraft or creation or whatever, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to get it back into our hand anyways. Also, did we add Secret Village of the Spellcasters? Which makes it so that uh, my opponent cannot activate any spell cards. I also added a um, another trap card so we cannot activate any trap cards. Which, so that's really interesting actually. Um, but that's of course, that's not the only thing we got mentioned. Alright, let's fast forward right now before we do anything else. We got a lot of new uh, Link Summon monsters in the deck as well. Um, that actually works decently. I thought I might need it one or two more stuffs. We also got Witchcraft Pottery still in our deck. So it's still mainly a Witchcraft deck. So we're still getting our cards back to our hands. So it's not the typical meta actually you're, you're, you know of stuffs. Uh, but it works. Magician's Restage makes me so that I can target a level 3 or lower spellcaster type monster in my graveyard, actually. And special summon that thing. Uh, while that card is on the field, Magician's Restage um, is used as a face-up monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, I can add one of the Magician's continuous spell cards from my deck to my hand. Except for Restage. So that's actually really good. That way we got a Witchcrafter by Street on the field, so... One of these witchcrafters cannot be destroyed once uh, in a battle. So that actually works pretty well. I also got Golem Aru in my hand. Don't forget that. Because if, if whenever another spellcaster was going to be targeted. I can make one card go back to its hand. And special summon witchcrafter Golem Aru. That is really a sick card. I can tell you that shit. <clears throat> I wasn't negating effects, but it didn't matter. Alright, so now we can get rid of that card to, to special summon Gomu Aru. Bye bye. Discarding special summoning. Here we go with the link summon of Serene. I want to have a quick look at Serene actually for now. If What it does actually is that it places some spell counters. Um, equal to the number of spells on the field and in the graveyard. Um, so that actually is really good. Then, whenever, I can remove three spell counters uh, from my field to special summon another spell counter monster from my hand or graveyard in defense position. <laughs> of course, this really works with Madame. It's insane, actually. So now we're gonna grab our cards. And now he already probably is like, well, at this moment he fucked up. We almost got a full hand of different named cards, so that's pretty sick. He's still trying to do his last thing, and then I was like, no, what? Screw this shit, I'm out. So yeah, we updated the deck. The deck now is really, really good. Um, I can give you guys a quick look at how the deck is built right now. I do think that could be an interesting thing to have a look for. And then it's not even finished, because there will be more fusion monsters and stuff in the future. Um... We got Knights and Sorcerer uh, to be special summoned. Banishing Guards. We got Summoner Monk right now in. We added Ida the Sun Magician. Uh, like I said, our whole extra deck is now buffed up as well. We got a few more spell cards in. I also got Pots of Extravagance, which is just a really good card. Uh, two more trickies. I never thought I would go over 40 main deck cards, but this deck proved me wrong. It's amazing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, mates. And I hope you guys can learn a thing or two about this. See ya.